Hello friends in this video we are going to discuss how can we store images into MySQL database table and display that store image from MySQL table to web page by using PHP script. If you have trying to store uploaded images into MySQL table and if you have facing problem while inserting images into table then you can find solution of these things here. Here we will store uploaded images into MySQL table and after this we will display that stored MySQL image on web page by using PHP script. In MySQL table images will be stored into binary form of data. We will use MySQL blob data type in MySQL table and in this data type we have store images in binary form. Now let's start. This is my testing database and in this database we have one images table with two column like it and name, here name column data type is blob, we will store images into this column in binary form. This is my index.php page and on this page first we have write form tag with attribute method is equal to post and encryption type is equal to multi part form data. This for upload file to the server. Under this form we have write input type is equal to file with attribute name is equal to image and it is equal to image. Here value of id attribute we will use in query code as a selector. After this we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to insert, id attribute is equal to insert and value is equal to insert. When we have click on this button then image will be inserted into database. Now we have write some validation code on submit button and query, so here we have write dollar hash insert dot click event with one anonymous function, here insert is the id of submit button. Under this function first we have write variable image name is equal to dollar hash image dot value method. Here image is the id of input type file and by using value method we can get the name of selected file which we have stored into this image name variable. After this we have write if statement with condition like image name is equal to blank, this condition check image name variable has some data or not. If image name variable is blank then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write alert message box with text like a please select image. This pop up message will appear on web page if we have not select any file and directly click on insert button. But suppose if we have select any file then first we want to validate extension of selected file, so we have write variable extension is equal to dollar image dot value method dot split method with dot argument dot pop method dot to lowercase method, here image is the id of input type file and by this code we will get the extension of selected file. After this we have write if statement with condition like query dot an array function with two argument, in first argument we have write extension variable and in second argument we have write allowed image extension in array is equal to minus one. This condition will check selected file extension is present into array of allowed extension, if extension is not present then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have want to display alert message, so we have write alert with text message like a invalid image file. This alert message will be pop up on web page. If we have select invalid extension file then no action will be taken so we want to remove selected file from image file tag, so we have write dollar image dot value method with blank value. This code will remove selected file from file tag. Now we have moved to write PHP code, so in this first we have make database connection, so we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host set to localhost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. This way we can make database connection.
When we have click on insert submit button then after image will be inserted into my SQL database. So here we have write of statement with condition like set function with argument like dollar post insert variable. Here dollar post insert variable is the name of submit button and here this condition check the value of this insert button is set or not. If value set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar file variable is equal to add slashes function with one argument like file get contents with one argument like dollar files image temporary name. Here dollar files image is the array of input type file and from temporary name we have get the temporary path of selected image and by using file get contents function we will reads file into string and by using add slashes function we have put slashes and store into dollar file variable. After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into images table with column name with values dollar file. This is our insert query for insert image into my SQL database. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write of statement with condition like miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query. This function will execute this insert query. If image inserted into my SQL database then we want to display image inserted message, so we have write echo statement with text like open and close script tag and between this tag we have write alert message like image inserted into database. This message will be pop up after image will be inserted into my SQL database. Now we want to display inserted image from my SQL table. So we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from images table order by id in descending order. This is select query, it will fetch image from my SQL database. After this we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable which is database connection string and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store into this result variable. Now we have write while loop open and close bracket and between bracket we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with one argument like dollar result variable. This function will convert query result to associative array and store into this dollar row variable. Now we want to display images under table, so we have write echo statement with text like open and close table table row tag and between this tag we have write open and close table data tag and between this tag we have write image tag with attribute source is equal to data double colon image slash jpeg base 64 comma base 64 encode function with argument like dollar row name variable. Here base64 encode function will encode binary data and convert that data to image and we can view on we page. So our code is ready for insert image into my SQL database and display on web page. So we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends you can see file select element with one submit button. When we have directly click on insert button then it has show please select image file and then after we have select other than image file then it has show invalid image file but when we have select image file and click on insert button then selected image has been inserted into my SQL database table. So our code is working. Here we have defined one input file element and one submit button we can select file from this input element or and click on submit button then image will be sent to PHP script and by using file get contents function we can read selected image file in string format and after this we will insert that image into my SQL database. In my SQL database table we have store image in column with data type blob. After this we want to display image on web page so we have show that inserted image into image tag by converting binary data into image by using base64 encode function. 
so this way we can insert image into my SQL database by using PHP script. If you like this video tutorial, please share this video tutorial with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.